Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about QPSK, that is quadrature phase shift keying. So, what is the basic principle? Transmitter block diagram, receiver block diagram, with a waveform, and its some applications we will be discussing today. So, if you are new to channel, please guys subscribe and like the video. And uh, thanks for your support. Okay, so let's move on. So, first coming to basic principle. QPSK is a form of PSK, but here two bits are modulated at a time. So QPSK means quadrature. Quad means basically four. So in this we are having four phases for the carrier, but in case of phase shift keying we are having only two phases. So in this we are having zero and one eighty as its phases, but in case of QPSK we are having four phases. That I have written here. It has four possible carrier shifts. That is. 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, and 270 degree. So total is 360 divided by 4. That is 90. So difference between the the all those shifts is 90 degree. So if you add 0 to 90, then it will be 90. 90 plus 90, 180. 180 plus 90, 270. Like this, we will be getting four possible shifts for the carrier. So that is because 360 is divided into four possible states. Okay. So here. And uh, we uh, the main thing is in case of PSK we will be considering one or zero bit one bit at a time. So in case of uh, QPSK we will be considering two bits at a time zero zero one zero one 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 zero like that like that we will be using two bits for uh, generating the phases here. So as we are having four phases in QPSK the amount of information carried in this case will be double. So this is the Main reason why QPSK is so successful because it doubles the information carrying capacity as compared to PSK. So this is about the basic principle. Now coming to transmitter. So transmitter is a block diagram consists of uh, this is uh, D multiplexer uh, basically. So it uh, uh, D multiplexes odd and even components of a serial data. So that serial data is converted to parallel data. So one is given to BPSK I channel and BPSK that is Q channel. This one is Q channel. In phase and out of phase channels are called so. So uh, local oscillator will be there and uh, uh, local uh, carrier will be given to BPSK as it is and it will be given 90 degree phase shift to the other channel. It can be done in the reverse also. So here also we can place the Uh, this uh, 90 degree phase shift, but uh, for this, then we will be gi giving the carrier directly. So uh, out of two channels, one should have 90 degree phase shift between them. So those two are combined here, and a QPSK signal will be formed. So this is basically called a bit bit splitter, and the digital data is provided in the uh, first or that is input. So how it works? So if input is zero zero, then carrier phase will be assigned zero degree. If input is zero one, then carrier phase will be assigned one eighty degree. If input is one zero, then carrier phase will be ninety degree. If input is one one, then carrier phase will be two seventy. But depending on the algorithm, you can change. So according to you, how you want to assign, but you have to assign identically. So you can't assign for one zero and zero one same ninety degree. You have to assign uh, as you like, but uh, Uh, separately you have to assign that is indistinguishable so uh, carrier so when we transmit the carrier will be uh, the carrier's phase will be changed so when the uh, carrier receives at the receiver then depending on the carrier phase the bits are so suppose this is 180 degree phase shift then it is assumed that 01 is transmitted it is 90 degree phase shift then 10 is transmitted like this or transmitted data at the receiver Will be uh, decoded at the uh, other side or receiver side. Okay, so now coming to waveform. So suppose this is a carrier signal. So one cycle, two cycles, one type cycle, two cycle. Like this, I have drawn for zero 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 one one zero one one. Suppose this is the data stream which we are adding to the carrier signal. Then how the output signal is output QPSK modulator signal will be so for zero zero there is zero degree phase shift then I won't change anything I will I will be just for two cycles zero for one cycle another for zero so up to this I will be writing as it is and for zero one the phase shift is one eighty degree so this is starting here now one eighty degree means this will start here so this will be starting from here 
and will be drawing opposite so up to this two cycle i will draw like this and for 1 0 there is a 90 degree phase shift so this is starting from here so if i phase shift by 90 degree then it will start from here so i will draw for two cycles then again for 1 1 the phase shift is 270 so if uh, 90 degree is here means 3 270 will be coming in the third quadrant that is 270 will start from here so like this i will be drawing two cycles so like this uh, quadrature phase shift keyed signal or modulated signal we will be drawing so this is modulated demodulated or decoded at the receiver to get the information that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 coded sequence at the other end so we will see qpsk receiver also so qpsk receiver is similar uh, okay qpsk input is given here then PSK I channel and PSK Q channels are there, local oscillator is there, 90 degree phase shift. So this is setup is basically a, a carrier setup. Then it is given to low pass filter. So carrier is filtered here, then it is given to square wave modulator or square wave generator. Square wave generator so this will generate square waves means it will be it will digitalize the data either it is 0 either it is 1 so 0 1 stream is coming from here and 0 1 stream is coming from here so odd bits are given here even bits will be here so parallel to serial communication so to get the, our uh, real data 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 uh, 0 1 we will be converting again this uh, serial data to um, parallel to serial data so we are having here parallel data then it is converted to serial so like this we will be getting the same sequence or same data which is transmitted at the transmitter side so applications are used in various cellular wireless standards such as GSM, global standard mobile, code division multiple access, LTE 802.11 that is Wi-Fi uh, wireless LAN 802.16 fixed Wi-Fi and mobile or WiMAX applications it is used. used it is also used in satellite communication and it is also used in TV cable operations so these are the sum of applications and please guys if you have liked the video uh, press the uh, thumb and uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel please guys do subscribe because we will be posting like these videos frequently and thanks for your support keep watching Jain.